Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's video I'm going to show you guys a trick to using uh, sheet sets to plot and organize a handful of sheets or layouts uh, even if they're in multiple drawings. So this can come in uh, really handy if you've got two or three drawings or more uh, and a couple layouts in each one. This will allow you to keep them all organized in a sheet set but it'll also let you plot them all into PDF or to your printer at the same time. Uh, similar to the publish uh, option, um, you can also add in fields so that you can control things through your sheet set um, and update drawings without actually opening them. And then when you print them, they'll be updated, like changing uh, revision numbers, uh, titles, or, or figure numbers. But in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, add drawings and layouts to a sheet set as well as create a new sheet set and then how to print to PDF. Uh, for more information on sheet sets you guys can check out my course um, at cadintentions.com and go to the courses and then sheet sets. Uh, if you have any questions just let me know. Let's get started. So to start I've got a demo drawing here it's called demo001 uh, and it's my blank template which you can get on the website uh, with five different uh, drawings and sizes in each in each uh, layout here. So you can see I've got drawing one to five in this drawing and then if I open up demo two in my folder here I'm just opening up demo two you can see I've got another blank drawing with all of my layouts set up all different sizes and in two different drawings. So we're going to add all of these to a new sheet set and then we're going to be able to print uh, with one click and it's going to grab all of the layouts that we add from each drawing and print them to a single PDF. So to open up the sheet set manager which is where we can create and manage our sheet sets we're going to type in SSM and hit enter. And that stands for sheet set manager. Uh, this is where you can control your sheets and to start we're going to create a new sheet set. If you've created a sheet set example or template you can start from an old one uh, or create one. Uh, we're just going to use existing drawings to to kind of make it quick. Um, so this means we're going to bring in an existing drawing into our sheet set here and that's going to create our sheets. Uh, we're going to call it sheet set demo so this will be the name of the sheet set file that is created in your folder and I'll show you what that looks like when we've made one. Down here you can add a description which describes your project and then down here you're gonna save it in a folder. We're gonna save it in our folder with our drawings um, sometimes you'll want to save it in a, in a project folder, maybe one folder above. Uh, for now we're just going to save it here. Uh, and then you can go in and change, in, change any properties. This would be like project number or name. Um, we're just going to leave these uh, blank right now. This is where you could add custom fields, which we'll get into in another video, but using custom fields you can automatically fill in uh, titles, projects, figure numbers, drawing numbers, revisions, and you can get those to auto update in your title blocks. I go into all of that in the sheet set course on my website, uh, cadintentions.com, and click on courses on the menu. So we're not going to change any custom properties right now, but we're going to hit next to create our uh, sheet set. I'm going to bring in these drawings uh, through the manager to show you, but this is where you can do this step once you know what you're doing. So we're going to hit next. It's going to give you a rundown of all your information here, and you can cl click finish. I'm just going to open up the sheet set manager here. So now we can open up the sheet set that we created. So you can go down here and click open, or if it's easier, you can just dub go to your sheet set file, which is a DST here that we just saved in this folder and double click it. And now we've got our blank sheet set open in the sheet set manager. This might sound a little confusing uh, to start, but once you get the hang of it, this will go a lot quicker. 
Uh, so now comes the really cool part. We're going to add in layouts. So each of these layouts can be added as a sheet in our sheet set manager here. So we're going to go import layout as a sheet. And then we're going to browse for our drawings. And this is where I've saved the two, so we're going to select them both. So you can hold shift and select them both. And we're going to hit open. Now it's going to show us a list of all of our layouts that we can bring into our sheet set. So in total, it looks like I've got 10 sheets in our drawings. So I'm going to leave them all checked and I'm going to hit import checked. So now you can see in order, it's brought them all in. So now that they're all included in our sheet set, you can, uh, there's a few things you can do with them. You can right click on them and change in their properties. Uh, you can rename and renumber them, or you can simply open them, which is pretty cool in case uh, you have a bunch of drawings added to your sheet set in different folders for some reason for your projects. So since we closed demo 002, but I know that drawings 6 through 10 are in it, I can right click any of these to automatically open the drawing. Uh, this can be super helpful when you've got things spread across different folders, like I said, or different phases. Uh, it's also just good for keeping track of where all your drawings are. And you can this way you can split out drawings into separate DWG files to keep them smaller. Uh, but still maintain some consistency in finding them to print them. So for example, if we wanted to open up drawing nine, you simply right click on it and hit open. And you can see it automatically opened up demo 002 and it opened it up to drawing 09. All right, so now that we get the basics of kind of adding new layouts or existing layouts to our sheet set, we're going to go on to printing them now. So if you right click on the sheet set up here, you can uh, publish the entire sheet set. You can also do this on individual layouts or sheets in here, uh, but I find it really useful for printing multiple sheets. So again, we're going to right click on the sheet set. We're going to go down to publish, and then you can go down to sheet set PDF publish ops, options. In here, you can make sure that your settings are all correct. Uh, this will depend on how you like to plot your PDFs or, or drawings. Uh, I like to keep them in a multi-sheet file that combines them all into one PDF. And I like it to ask me uh, for a file name and where to save it. Uh, the rest of these can be up to you, but this looks right, so I'm going to hit OK. And then back here, onto the sheet set, we're going to right click publish, and then you can simply just click publish to PDF. It's going to PDF the entire set, and I'm going to save it in our folder that we were working on there, just so I can find it. And you can see now it's going to flip through all of the layouts, opening and printing drawings. Uh, depending on your size and how many drawings, uh, this can take anywhere from 30 seconds to uh, 5 or 10 minutes. You can see now we've got no errors found and the job is complete. I'm just going to open up the PDF now. And you can see it's created a PDF with all of our different drawings in it. All the different sizes, it didn't matter. They've all been added into a single PDF. So there you go. We just printed 10 different sized layouts and drawings in two different drawings with one click once we got it set up. This makes it super easy to plot off sets of drawings, especially if you have to uh, re-PDF after a few edits. It also helps you keep track of all your drawings. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out the course I have on sheet sets at cadintentions.com. Uh, just click on the courses menu and choose sheet sets. Thanks for watching as always, and have a great day. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. 
Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.